Jack, an event next weekend, very cool event, brings together women from diverse backgrounds and identities in a celebration of individual and collective power and collaboration. Please welcome the founder of the Power of Women International Summit, Jerry Ibalarosa Tunnell. It's good to see you. Yeah. And you just gifted me with this beautiful lay because this conference has a Hawaiian saying as its title, and yes. so that I don't mangle it, I'm leaving <laughs> it to you to tell us. So it's Navahine Okamana, which actually means the power of women. I love this so yes. much. Absolutely. How did this come about? Well, you know, it's like my co-founder, Kaui Awai, and I were having lunch one day, and we just got back from attending another conference. And so we kind of like collaborated, and we talked about the different conferences out there. And what we wanted was to bring all women together from all backgrounds, from all identities. Because some of the conferences that we've been to, they talk about business, about bottom line. And then there's also the spirituality part of it. But what we wanted to do was bring women together, talk about being human. And so it's like bringing your authentic selves, sharing your wisdom and everything mm -hmm. like that. And, and plus, it's based on the foundation of aloha, which a lot of times we believe that aloha is just a greeting. But it's much more than that. It's a derivative of two words, alo meaning front and hao meaning breath. So it's an exchange of breath. And we share these through our stories. And so the stories that these women are going to be bringing is powerful. It's inspiring. Right. And it helps to kind of like be more human. Well, it builds towards that notion that there are some countries who talk about this more openly, but we don't so much as Americans, of civil society, of business not just being business and personal not just being personal, but right. bringing your whole self and your values to the business that you do. And you've kind of topped that by bringing together <laughs> all of these people from different backgrounds, so we have these rich cultural strains running through the entire thing as well. Right, and exactly. This, this is valuable to people because it opens new ideas, new ways of doing things. Um, what do you see women experience during the conference? Well, they'll be, with the, with the 12 women that I've selected, they're going to be actually sharing a lot of different stories, and it's connecting with those stories, because in those stories are the experiences that we have. And these experiences can come from all different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So we have women that's going to be talking about relationship with artificial intelligence to indigenous ways of healing and coming together as women. We'll have women in tech. We'll have women talking about just how they overcame adversity. And so it's just a combination of all different women coming together. And so I think it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's powerful. It's powerful. For me, it's very powerful. Yeah, no, it sounds like it. Where is this taking place and who's invited to come? So it's going to be at McMinimins at Haynes Hall over at Anderson School in Bothell. Mm -hmm. And all women are, ex are invited. So women from all different backgrounds, all ethnicities, all identities. And so even though that there's women who, I, who men identify as women, they're welcome as well too. So everyone is welcome. And the, the idea of having this be, you know, gender specific um, with a female identity has what purpose? What, what do you think that means for the experience? So I have to speak about just my culture in Hawaii. And in Hawaii, when someone comes with multiple identities, with two identities, there is so much power in it because you're able to actually embrace both the male and the female. And when you have someone like that, to us, it's a blessing to have. And so it's like it's part of aloha and it's part of my culture to open the door and to actually hold that space for those that identify as women. And, and just beyond that, for this being a women-specific event, um, why not have a co-ed? What's the benefit of, of saying we're going to bring the female spirit into this? So here's, here, here's, here's the way that I look at it, is that for women, it's, we are we bring birth into this world. We've all come from women. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our mothers. And you keep that in mind. <laughs> we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our mothers. And so coming together as mothers, as sisters, as daughters, as partners, it's so important because we are the ones that actually stitch humanity together. And so it's important for women, especially with what is happening in our society right now, is this is a place where we can raise our voices and have it be heard and have it supported by one another, which is so important, is for us to come together as women to support one another. And what do you hope will happen for the women who attend as they go back to their 
everyday lives? Well, the resources that I'm hoping that people would, the women will leave with, is resources that will teach you how to co-create communities, on how to challenge the status quo, how to stand up for yourselves and empower yourselves. And so these women are going to be bringing the inspiration and the empowerment that we need right now. I love this idea of aloha. I love what you've talked about there and finding connections instead of delving so much into the things that separate us when there are you know, just myriad ways in which we are so connected and need those connections. Right, absolutely. And right now we are fighting to be heard. We're fighting to be seen. Maybe the problem is that we're fighting. Maybe we should find a different way on how we actually talk with each other. And that's what it is, and that's what aloha is. It's about learning how to be courageous in where you stand and to be able to speak up and to know that you've got a tribe behind you. And coming here today, I was like, oh my gosh, I was so nervous. But, you know, on my Twitter feed and everything, <laughs> on Facebook, all of my friends are like, we got you. Yep. And so knowing that I am not here representing myself, but I'm representing every woman that is here, even my ancestors back home, it's like, yeah, they got I me. Dig it. <laughs> Amen, sister, we're right behind you. The Power of Women International Summit takes place March 10th and 11th at McMenamin's Anderson School in Bothell. Details are on our homepage and we'll be right back.